Hello Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I am showing you some of the fabulous Candy Cane Suite. It is just absolutely stunning and I've had so much fun with it. The Candy Cane Suite is in the Holiday Mini Catalog and it's actually the first two pages which is super fun because it just grabs your attention and you're like, I have to have it. And I'm loving these awesome colors of the red, which is like your traditional holiday color. But then it has that warm brown of crumb cake. So it's just so homey and cozy. And then, of course, the sweet treats. It just brings back all that holiday, like the cookies and the baking and everything. And I absolutely love it. So in that suite, let's just push these aside. We'll come back to those. There's the amazing designer series paper. So you have these gorgeous little um, gingerbread homes and then the gumdrops on the back side and then and I just I love how there's so many patterns that are um, very holiday themed but also very neutral as well for example this one has those neutral dots there's actually dots but there's little itty bitty bitty um, Christmas trees, but at first glance it just looks like dots, so you're fine there. And then of course the back side of that is the stripe. And then again you have this same little tree and dot pattern in red. And then the back side of that is this fabulous candy cane hearts, which is just oh so amazing. I love the filigree around the heart and then the fact that the candy canes make a heart just makes it so sweet and fabulous. Then you have the peppermints, which is just bright colored reds and swirls, and it kind of gives your eyes a little bit of some um, craziness there. And the back side is this super elegant, um, but yet fun pattern that I just love in the crumb cake and white. So that is super amazing. Then the next one you have this one, it's got a little bit of pink in there, so you have your, your candy, your gingerbread, your, your candy canes, um, your peppermints, just all kinds of fun. And then the back side of that is a crumb cake white and red stripe. And then you have that same pattern or similar pattern with this one here. So it's like Christmas cookies. Like this I know is a mitten, but it almost just looks like a, um, a baking glove, like a, um, an oven mitt. I think that's what it looks like. So you have your oven mitt and your star cookies, your gingerbread cookies, and your little uh, Christmas tree cookies. And then the back side of that is just this very simple crumb cake polka dotted pattern, which kind of looks like snowflakes falling down as they're in various sizes. So that is the awesome designer series paper and that's all in 12 by 12 and then you have the fabulous washi tape. So there's the red stars which of course could be used for any occasion all throughout the year and then you have the peppermints so that's a little bit more holiday themed. Then this one you have those red, um, it's red within those um, various sizes of dots. Then this one you have the gumdrops, again a little bit more uh, holiday themed, and then you have red and white stripes. So you have five rolls of fabulous washi tape. And then two of the stamp sets are these two here. So with these two, you have this awesome stamp set that has your gumdrop, it has your peppermint and your candies, it has your star, your oven mitt or mitten, your little tree, and the candy cane. So all of these are the same images you see throughout the um, designer series paper. And then you have that fabulous little line down there that you can use as an excellent background. A little to and from to use for tags, a little um, bow, and then of course these amazing greetings in a beautiful scrolly font, and you know how I'm a sucker for a good scrolly font. Then you have this fabulous cookie cutter Christmas stamp set and the best part is the little gingerbread man there and of course there's the coordinating punch to punch him out. So let's bring back in those samples. Here I did um, just a little strip of the washi tape there that separates the designer series paper from the little white at the top with the greeting on there and I did the little gingerbread man and punched him out as well as punched out his little bow. So there you can see all the products kind of coming together. 
This card is super, super simple. I kind of like it, but I also kind of think it's a little too simple. So my husband also thought it was a little too simple, but I just did the gumdrops on the top and the bottom, and then the little gumdrop stamp I stamped there with the greeting. So you could always um, pop up the greeting on a couple layers of cardstock to make it pop out a little bit more. You could always add some ribbon or anything like that, but there's a very simple version that could be stepped up. Then this one here is also another simple version, but super cute. I just did a little strip of washi tape and I ripped it on both ends, so no scissors necessary. And then I did the designer series paper is two inches. The real red is one and a quarter or one and three quarters inches. And then of course the white with the stamped candy cane is one and a half. And you could always stamp any of those images on there, either the little tree or the oven mitt slash mitten, um, or any of them, and then the little greeting down there on the corner. And then this one is stepped up a little bit more, and this one I did with those candy cane hearts and that filigree, and then I just added the greeting there with the circle punches and punched those out, and I added some of the organza ribbon. Now I have a little trick that I saw here. I was like, you know what, I bet the center of that satin ribbon on the organza would fit some washi tape. So I took some of the peppermint washi tape and added it. Isn't that super fabulous? I love, love, love how that turned out. So I just wanted to show you really quickly how I did that. So here we have some of our organza ribbon and I took the peppermint washi tape here and I just laid it right down the center of my organza ribbon. just like that. Isn't that amazing? I was like so excited and I couldn't wait to put it on the card. It is a little bit thicker, um, but I didn't have any problems tying the knot. Um, so you just have to be careful not to make your knot too chunky or to maybe use it on, oh sorry, here you go. So it is a little chunky, a little chunkier than this one, but organza is kind of thick. So um, you'll still have that where it's a little bit of a chunkier knot. So you could always use it on a hand delivered card or sweet treats, um, or you could always do it as a gift tag. But super, super fun to use your washi tape on your organza ribbon. And this goes for any sort of, um, of washi tape, whether it's the holiday themed stuff or not. So. I hope you enjoyed this suite. I will of course be posting all of these samples on my blog, laurastamppad.com, and making oodles more. So let me know which one your favorite one is. Is your favorite the fabulous little gingerbread? The super simple gumdrop? The candy cane here, the candy cane square? or the candy cane filigree with the washi tape ribbon. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And stay tuned as I'll be posting a lot more Christmas samples to come. I will see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.